I'm running a bit behind, but Matches has, um, she's hired a model and has invited people that they can um, come into any sessions that they want. So I'm going to a model session right now. Uh, I'm going to do uh, just a pencil study first. And then for the second part of the day, I'm going to work on my cast finally. trying to find a good place to shoot this. There's fans everywhere, so it's really loud in the studio. But, so that's the first day with my pencil drawing. Um, I took the video after each break, so it's 25 minutes of drawing, five minute breaks. And so that's how I developed this one. Um, I usually try and keep my drawings looking more pretty while I'm developing them. Um, I feel like in this drawing, there's a lot of uh, harsh contrast with the lights and the shadows, but I'm really just trying to like get things down to figure out um, how the body is set up um, and the balance. Seated poses are tricky for me as well because I'm not used to doing them, so the balance is different. But I'm going to be working one more day probably on this drawing and I'll probably, or hopefully, get it looking uh, prettier. But um, then I'm going to do some color studies. And I think I'm just going to kind of, I really like this pose a lot though, so I think I'm just going to kind of like keep moving around the room and get different angles of it. And now I'm going to work on my cast, and it's really hot in here today. It's really hot in the studios in the summer. There's not a lot of air circulation. So um, I just had some juice. I was feeling kind of dizzy, but I'm feeling a lot better now. So I'm just going to go at it and see how long I can go. So I've been studying the cast and seeing what I want to work on. Um, I'm pretty happy with the top portion of the cast and the bottom. It's the middle that I really want to um, really want to improve. So I haven't worked on it in quite some time, so I'm kind of nervous to go jump like right into it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the leg that's bent in the light area. Cause that one kind of sweeps back into the background anyway um, and it's kind of like falling away from the focal point so I don't want to work on any focal points at least for this first day while I get back into it but so right now I'm starting in the darks and I'm working my way into the lights and I've mixed up just a few colors and I'm gonna kind of like I think mix up as I go and then also really focus on the planes. What I want to do is start really big, make sure the big planes that make up that leg make sense, and then go into the folds of the fabric and kind of start big and go smaller, smaller, smaller. And with this whole cast, something that I've been kind of experimenting in is the brush work. Um, in my other stuff, it's been kind of tight and thin. Um, what I'm trying to do in this one, which I've been, I think, pretty successful, at least in the top portion of it, is using a lot of paint, laying down brush strokes, um, and then kind of leaving the brush strokes, and maybe modifying edges here and there, but um, try and keep the energy in the paint when you put them down rather than blurring everything out too much.
here's my palette that I work with. So I have the ivory black, cadmium red light, yellow ochre, and the flake white. Flake white. Um, so this I have is my shadow color. This is the darkest half tone. And then these three I all used for the lights. Okay, I accomplished what I wanted to. I worked on the bent leg, just the above the knee up to the hip. Um, that was so much fun to work on. I've been really putting it off this summer because, well, on the studio, it's just um, it's just really hot, so it's kind of more comfortable to paint in my apartment with the air conditioning. But um, getting to work on it was just a really fun, exhilarating feeling. Um, I feel like it's taken me a long time to get to this point and I've only started really f feeling like really confident with laying down brush strokes and kind of um, not so overwhelmed by like consciously thinking about value temperature and the structure of things but having it now come more natural and that's really only happened with this last cast. Oh and I also wanted to say if anyone is interested in owning any of my paintings or drawings, go check out my website. It's jennifermariepainting.com backslash shop and I have some paintings and drawings up for sale. It's paintings that I've done, um, studies out my window, and then also the little pencil drawings that I make at school. And I have a link for it in the description down below. Oh, but the heat's getting to me now so I'm going to clean up and go home. <laughs>